Manchester United looking to sell naming rights to Old Trafford. That's the news coming from The Athletic. Adam Crafton has just dropped this Manchester United news right now today. That there is serious consideration and conversations going on inside Old Trafford right now with Sir Jim Radcliffe and Ineos about the ridiculous, the unheard of, the please don't ever do this in naming rights to Old Trafford to fund Manchester United's rebuild. This is the sort of thing and the sort of decision that will go down like a lead balloon with the fan base. If you were to ask the fans right now and you had any consideration for the Manchester United fan base, a billionaire, the second richest man in England, all of the good words and turning Manchester United around, if you were to ask the fan base right now what they thought of that decision, the fact that you are looking to change Old Trafford's name to fund the rebuild of Old Trafford or even a new stadium, then, oh, well, not the new stadium, but if you were going to redo Old Trafford and you're looking to rename it, then that would go down. Honestly, that would be the worst mistake that Ineos could make. I, I, it does sound all opinionated right now because I'm a season ticket holder. I come to United week in, week out. Some people may think differently elsewhere and I completely understand their side of it. We have to fund things and we have to be clever. But this is supposedly one of the richest guys in the country who's got liquid assets and cash aside. If he was fully committed to Manchester United, he'd be putting his hand in his pocket. There were other offers on the table, apparently, that were willing to do this. And Sir Jim Radcliffe's coming, giving it the big one. Now, yes, there's a lot of people on side of Ineos right now, and we are getting a grip of the culture and making things better at United. But seriously, but on top of that, there is also discussions coming out. What The Athletic and Adam Crafton has also said is that there is big consideration to ticket price ticket prices and a hike in them as well eh, eh. you are going to lose the fan base my friend instantly and whatever hope you had to Jim Radcliffe and Ineos of getting this fan base on board and taking United and getting everyone to think and get behind you you are going at it the complete wrong way the Glazers never raised any prices you've been through the door 10 minutes and you look like you're going to raise them twice within the first 18 months. We're already paying more this season. If you up that again next season, then yes, I understand you have to move forward. Prices and inflation and everything like that. But everyone is paying a fortune for absolute dog shit food inside Old Trafford. The only alcoholic beverage you can get is Carlin, for God's sake. That We are miles behind the time. And what do you want to do? Yeah, you want Manchester United fans to pay for that upgrade to give us that better experience at Old Trafford instead of the billionaire and the success story of Ineos paying for it himself. This is, like I said at the start, the news that no Manchester United fan wants to hear. And if Ineos wants to convince any of this Manchester United fan base that this is the way forward, renaming Old Trafford. Are you serious? You said in your opening big interview to Jim Radcliffe, that it's the fans are the most important people at Manchester United. Not once have we had any polls or anything thrown at us for things like this. Do you know what I mean? This is where it's going to go wrong and this is where everyone who is saying that the Ineos, uh, the Ineos order and them taking over and so Jim Radcliffe coming in is where it's going to go wrong. He's just another leech, he's just another glazer, he's the British glazer, that's what they were saying. But if you were to rename Old Trafford, you would lose every single match going fan. You would literally lose the whole fan base doing that. Now, I may be very opinionated, like I said, on this. And you can shoot me down if you want in the comments. Get in the comments below and let me know what you think, guys. But this is the sort of news that turns me instantly away from Sir Jim Radcliffe. Looking for government backing to buy a new stadium. Looking for the fans to actually pay for upgrades here at Old Trafford and rename Old Trafford. I thought you was a United fan. I thought you was a Manchester United fan like boyhood Manchester United growing up and you want to rename Old Trafford? Right, it's a story and we need to get behind it and get behind the reports and see if it's actually true but I just don't see the Athletic and Adam Crafton of all people coming out with this story and actually putting it out there for nothing like it wasn't real. It's not what they do. Now it is only consideration but the mere fact that they're considering this that puts me right off. I'm not going to lie. Honestly, that is... That's ridiculous, and to be fair, I'm completely going against everything that in your side. That's the way that they're thinking. I hope that it's not true, and I hope it doesn't happen, and I can carry on thinking that they do want to take United forward. But just remember what you said when you first came to Manchester United, said Jim. You're the stewards, the real owners of Manchester United, are the fans taking 
this away, which renaming it would do, it's embarrassing. It really is embarrassing, especially for the richest man, second richest man in England. Then you're going to lose everything that you hoped you'd even started with. Let me know what you think, guys. Get your comments in below. That really pissed me off hearing that. It really did, but I don't know. You tell me.